Hello everyone, welcome to the another episode of Mind Map and today's topic is stubble burning under the environment and ecology subject. So under this topic we will discuss that what is stubble burning and benefits of stubble burning. Then its impact and solutions to stubble burning. Then PUSA biodecomposer, commission for air quality management and way forward. So let's start the topic and know that what is stubble burning. It is an old and outdated practice that is prevalent in the rice and wheat belt states of India, Haryana, Punjab and Uttar Pradesh. A stubble is the straw residue left after harvesting paddy, wheat and some other grain crops. It remains on the field and takes a long time to decompose. A stubble makes it difficult to plant seeds for the next crop and disturbs the growing cycle. Moreover, it is not edible for humans and is a poor source of fodder for animals. A stubble has other uses as well, but they are expensive and most farmers can't afford them. Thus, a stubble is a nuisance for farmers and the only viable option left for them is to burn it. Now let's know the benefits of stubble burning. Stubble burning does have some benefits for farmers. It helps clear weeds, pests and rodents in the field. A stubble burning is the quick action for farmers so they get the field empty for the next crop. Machines involve costs that can cut into farmers' profit margins even when they are rented from hiring centers. Selling the stubble is also not beneficial for farmers as the transportation cost is more than the profit. Burning stubble can decrease stubble borne diseases in several crops including wheat, barley, etc. Now let's know its impact. Crop residue burning releases carbon dioxide or CO2, carbon monoxide or CO, oxides of sulfur, particulate matter and black carbon. These directly contribute to environmental pollution. These are also responsible for the haze in Delhi and melting of Himalayan glaciers. The heat from burning paddy straw penetrates into the soil, elevating the temperature to 33.8 to 42.2 degrees Celsius. This kills the bacterial and fungal pollutions critical for a fertile soil. The solubility capacity of the upper layers of soil have also been reduced. People are suffering from health problems due to increased incidence of smog. The air in Delhi becomes unbreathable due to stubble burning during winter season. Now let's have a look on solutions to stubble burning. The government is rigorously taking up the issue of pollution caused due to stubble burning in NCR. In 2014, the union government released the National Policy for Management of Crop Residue. Since then, crop residue management has helped make the soil more fertile, thereby resulting in savings of Rs 2,000 per hectare from the farmer's manure cost. Farmers can also manage crop residue effectively by employing agricultural machines like happy seeder, rotavator, zero-till seed drill, etc. Since these machines are expensive, the union government currently provides subsidy on purchasing of super seeders, mulchers, happy seeders, etc. A provision of Rs 1,151 crore for two years has been made under this scheme for states like Punjab, Haryana, Uttar Pradesh. Paddy straw can be utilized in biomass power projects, co-firing in thermal power plants, feedstock for 2G ethanol plants, etc. Now let's know PUSA Biodecomposer. PUSA Biodecomposer is a microbial solution which can turn paddy straw into manure in 15 to 20 days. PUSA Biodecomposer is a form of capsule prepared by extraction of fungi strains. It is developed by the scientists at the Indian Agricultural Research Institute, that is IARI. Four capsules of this product can be scaled up to 25 liter liquid formulation. This quantity can be applied in situ to one hectare of rice field having 5 to 6 tons of paddy straw. According to officials, a spraying of biodecomposer costs just Rs 30 per acre. The PUSA biodecomposer was used on 4,300 acres of land belonging to 844 farmers in Delhi in 2021. In 2021, a third-party audit conducted to ascertain the impact of the microbial solution in Delhi showed that it was 95% effective. Okay, now let's know about the Commission for Air Quality Management. The Commission for Air Quality Management or CAQM in National Capital Region and Adjoining Areas Ordinance 2021 was promulgated on April 13, 2021. 
The ordinance provides for the constitution of a commission for better coordination, research, identification and resolution of problems related to air quality in NCR and adjoining areas. The ordinance also dissolves the Environment Pollution Prevention and Control Authority established in the NCR in 1998. The CAQM has developed a framework and action plan for effective prevention and control of stubble burning. The framework or action plan includes in situ crop residue management, ex situ crop residue management, prohibition of stubble or crop residue burning, effective monitoring or enforcement, schemes to reduce the generation of paddy straw, IEC activities for the plan of action, and standard protocol for recording and monitoring of the fire counts. Now let's know the way forward. As we know, burning stubble destroys a helpful raw material pollutes the air, causes respiratory diseases and worsens greenhouse gas emissions. Stubble can be recycled to make products including paper and cardboard. Biodecomposer can convert it into compost which will reduce the manure cost for farmers. The governments should pay for manual harvesting of paddy and subsequent manual stubble management. Manrega funds could also be used to partly finance it. Paying for manual harvesting is the cheapest most eco-friendly and sustainable solution to stubble burning. And it saves the water, the air and the earth with least costs. Okay, now it's time for the practice question. And the question is, consider the following. 1. Carbon monoxide 2. Methane See ozone 4. Sulfur dioxide Which of the above are released into the atmosphere due to the burning of crop or biomass residue? And the options are A1 and 2 only. B, 2, 3 and 4 only, C, 1 and 4 only, or D, 1, 2, 3 and 4. And the mains question is, Mumbai, Delhi and Kolkata are the three mega cities of the country, but the air pollution is much more serious problem in Delhi as compared to the other two. Why is this so? So, that's it for today. Don't forget to answer in the comment section and stay tuned for the next session. Till then, Jai Hind!